usually it happens at a very hot day yeah very hot day like for example this one okay uh, we can see that here it looks like there's uh, water okay there's a water here but actually there's no water eh? okay there's no water also when you go close to this place you'll find that no water and um, uh, sometimes it, it occurs uh, on the road also eh? okay when somebody is driving okay so you can see that okay in front uh, it looks like the road is, is wet there's water when you go there there's no water okay so we call this mirage okay mirage eh? so this is mirage uh, actually it, the uh, the water is not there eh? okay so you, you can even see the ref this uh, reflections like it's a uh, reflections of water eh? but actually there's no water eh? So this is just uh, the image of the clock usually. Okay, usually it's just an image of the clock. Eh? Okay, so how this mirage occurs? Eh? How mirage occurs? Let's see this example. Okay, uh, in a very hot day, so the sun will heat the ground and at the same time it will heat the air. Okay, it will heat the ground and it will heat the air. The earth or the ground usually has low specific heat capacity compared to the air. And if the specific heat capacity is low, means that it just needs to absorb small amount of heat, then the temperature will increase a lot. Okay, so therefore, the temperatures of the earth uh, will increase faster than the temperatures of the air. Okay, so we try to divide the air into three layers okay actually there's no layer but uh, for the ease of understanding okay we divide the three uh, the air into three layers so when the earth receives sunlight because it has low specific heat capacity so its temperature increase faster you know you need to know how to explain this uh, because in exam this may come up in essay questions uh, okay they may ask you to explain it so when you expose the sunlight uh, has low specific heat capacity so the earth or the ground uh, the temperature increase faster than the air the ground is very hot okay but then the air okay is colder and the upper side is the uh is the coldest okay it's, the, it's coldest now the air here the air here is also hot is because the ground the ground can heat the air after it absorb it absorb the heat okay and then the temperature increase it can heat the air so here is hot colder and coldest okay uh for the cold air the density is higher and uh, optically is also denser and okay? optically denser so so therefore if there's light ray okay here denser here less dense if there's light ray move from the cloud eh? move down from the cloud okay it will be refracted because it's from denser to less dense medium eh? denser to less dense medium and if the angle of refraction this angle is less than critical angles it will be refracted only yeah? it will be refracted it will be refracted away from the normal okay now when you reach this point uh, you can see that this angle is much bigger than this angle okay this angle is smaller this angle is bigger and then uh, let's assume that this angle is uh, bigger than the critical angle if a light ray move from optically denser to optically less dense medium and then uh, the angles of incident exceed the critical angles then we know that total internal reflections occurs okay so the air will be reflected okay instead of, of going downward it will be reflected okay it will be reflected and go to the eye of the observer then the observer for the observer okay we always assume that the light ray move in a straight line okay because uh when since we are very young when we see things uh, we always see that this light ray move in a straight line okay so when you see something come from here then you will assume that okay the light is come from here okay because we always think that the light move in a straight line okay so you would think oh this light it must come from here so then you will see the image of the clouds around here and that is the mirage that is the mirage okay so that is how the mirage form eh?